going on, everybody? Birthday Go Ham here. Welcome back to the channel. It's Farm So Dolls, baby. Today, Ada Mining shows off the old Jim Massey pack plus something new. The SR Mining have a new semi truck. JA Mining's got some more information for us for his Klaus Challenger and John Deere Baylor. Farm Central Solar putting the thing behind the plow. I knew it. JAHD Mining's got some new information on its JM Green Card. Ordy Mining showed more progress on their high spec tanker. Connect Mining are updating their cotton DLC. Shaba shows off the PDA for Shamburg Valley. Plus, Oxygen David has the animals in on Comsden Farm. Let's check it out. First up today, let's start with Ada Modding, and he's got some new pictures of all of the machines coming with the old Gen Massey back. He says all the machines are now fully UDIM complete, and that is awesome. Hopefully we'll be able to show this to you guys very soon as you can see. We've got tractors with all of the cages on them. We got trailers, combines, headers, plows, cultivators. We've even got some things for front loaders to be able to use that. Balers, round bells, square bells, different trailers, cedars, cultivators, pretty much anything you can think of, you've got it with this pack. Very exciting to see this being soon, hopefully complete. Ada Mining's also got something else for us today, something he has been keeping secret. Another project that is almost done, he says everything's done but the spec map, so won't be much longer now till it is sent off to Giants for testing for all platforms, but what is it? Well, this is the 4000H hook lift from Farming Simulator 17. Also, everything has been done by Ada Modding himself on this mod. Next up from VSR Modding, we have a new semi-truck that's been announced, the International 2070. Hey, isn't that a graphics card? Nonetheless, check this truck out. This is really cool. So as you know, VSR Modding and Raw Christie, those guys, they have introduced to us the International Transstar 2 and the International Transstar with the different beds on the back. Well, this one's gonna be a long nose version of that. Looks like it's gonna have similar wheels and a similar paint job as well, judging from the pictures that we've seen on Google. JA Modding's got some new information for us today on his Klaus Challenger 95E tractor and his John Deere 466 round baler. As far as the model on the Klaus Challenger 95E goes, he says the exterior stickers are done. Interior stickers are 0%, so we still got those to do. The inside is just missing animations as well. It is about 80% in game and optional weight for the front, weightless and a front hydraulic lift as well, which is really, really cool. As far as the baler goes for the John Deere 466 round baler, he says stickers are good. In game is about 30%, so less than the tractor. Hose connections are still at 0%. He says in addition, he's having a slight problem with the in game, but says all will be corrected soon. Speaking of JA Modding, Farm Centra Soul yesterday announced their new project with JA Modding, the 2000 Seedbed Finisher. And I guess that this might hook up to the back of the plow to cultivate. Well, as you can see here, that is exactly what this does. Has the same working with. So what you'll be able to do is you'll be able to use maybe the new Klaus Challenger tractor, hook up the John Deere plow to that, and then behind it, Use the seedbed finisher. This is gonna be really, really cool. JAHG Mining is back in Farm Sim News today with some more updates on their JM 1051 Brainstorm cart. He says, today we've got some new screenshots in game of their new old upcoming mod to all platforms, their JM 1051 grain cart. He says, new speculars and normal maps, much more detailed dynamic hoses, walking tandem configurations, 3D tracks on mesh scroll animation. So. They should have zero issues there, as well as skinned hoses on the unload auger and more. He says available configurations at the moment will be a tarp. You'll be able to configure that of yes or no. Old decals or new decals, two different track options, not just one, but two, as well as seven different wheel options. He says he had a lot of people asking if he would be able to release this as a JAH brand or a lizard brand. And it seemed like a lot of people did not want to see this as a lizard brand, but maybe something else. So he's going to be trying to get it out as a custom JAHG modding brand for consoles. It says, unfortunately, JNM brand cannot come to consoles, only PC. He does want to go in advance saying thank you to Sid Modding in advance for the AO spec maps and for the new normal maps. Today, 4D Modding show off their high spec 2300 SAR tanker. They say the 3D model is complete and ready for texturing. Unfortunately, there is no release date or platform information yet, which is too early in the modding process to tell. Connect Modding are gonna be updating their cotton pack. This is gonna be version 1.1 where they've adjusted some bugs and added colors to this. Now, this is not everything that they were gonna be doing. They found some errors. They say the B11 cotton press, the bells get stuck. 
They've adjusted the capacity of all of the equipment, added tire options to the John Deere 9996, and multicolor has been added for the B11 base and trans module. However, if there's anything that you have found, maybe there's an issue with this, check out Connect Modding in the description below and let them know. Yesterday, we showed off Shaba's Schamburg Valley, and I did mention in the video that it looked like they were getting pretty close to the end. Well, <laughs> naturally, Shaba's posted today saying, Schamburg Valley, work in progress. So, looks like nothing new on this one. They do say Happy New Year 2021 to all. As you can see at the top left-hand corner, say under construction. Wonder what they're doing up there. And lastly today from Oxygen David, he says, all animals are now in Comston Farm. It says, anyone up for a game of tennis? Of course, we get a picture that we've seen already, but we actually get it in context now. As you can see around, we have multiple different shots from around this area that we've gotten screenshots over the past week. Looks like we possibly got chickens in this area. We also have horses and pigs as well. And even a little bit of mud around the gating. You can see the awesome detail, of course, this Oxygen David, so you know this is going to be an absolutely amazing map. And with tennis around, I don't think we're going to be able to play, but I do know an epic game of basketball that happened between me and our good friend golf cart jockey over South Mount Creamery on FS17. Maybe there's some way to put together a tennis match. Oh boy, that'll be fun. You know what's not fun though? The end of these videos! Just like every episode of Farm Sim News, links to all topics discussed today can be found in the description below. There's no release dates for mods, so myself nor anyone else knows when any mod is going to be released. If I did not talk about something that you're interested in or curious about, that just simply means that there's no new information at the time of recording. Please refer to previous episodes on the most current status of those projects, and make sure you stay tuned to the channel for updated information on everything new going on in the world of Farming Simulator. Well guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, make sure you drop a like on it, get subscribed to the channel if you're new, and join the GoHam fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily Farming Simulator videos here on the channel. I'll be set. Hope you have a great day. We will see you later. Go DJ, it's your birthday. I'm gonna party like it's my birthday.